What's happening, everybody? Today is a little bit of a different video. Um, I was watching a fellow YouTuber, I think he goes by 65 Ford on YouTube. Great channel, you should go check him out. But uh, he had a video on how to fix these dead paint cans, you know, when they don't work anymore. And he repressurizes them, does all these different things. Well, I have a different technique that I use with this little tool that I made up. And it's dirt cheap and super easy to make. And uh, you can use the paint in all kinds of different stuff. So that's what I want to show you here today. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what's up. Okay, so this is the tool. If anybody has done any work on their house, you probably recognize this little thing. What it is, is it's a water line for a refrigerator kit. So that's what it is. It's like eight bucks, something like that. You can even buy the valves right here. They're like five dollars or four or something like they're dirt cheap. So what they actually are is a little needle valve. So inside of here is a sharp needle. You turn it in and it punctures your water line. You back it out and it lets water go to your refrigerator so you got ice. So it has a little gasket right here and that gasket fits on the paint cans. So I made this all up. It's just scrap junk. Um, I bent this little this little like saddle up just out of some round stock um, this these parts here they come with the kit you can see them right in there and there's the saddle in there somewhere or the uh, the gasket is down in there so you get basically everything here except for these two and this bolt and this is just some like uh, scrap stuff from like a suspension kit for a Jeep I think and then a, a bolt that's basically it so uh, the one thing that you got to know about the cans is that some of the cans like this one come with, uh, you know, a, a label on it. So you got to get rid of the label or else all the paint will just leak down through the label and out the bottom. So you want to just kind of get rid of some of the label. This is old school uh, street hemi orange paint. So like ancient, ancient paint. It still feels like there's quite a bit of pressure in it though, so should still work out good. So anyways, we're gonna do that. You gotta be careful of the seam. So try to avoid the seam wherever you're gonna puncture it and then that's kind of it. So the way it works, you just drop this thing down in it. I try to do it this way, it might be easier. Okay, so there we go. We've got it over the can. We're going to try to orient the seam away from our needle. Get a nice clean part of the can. Slide this all the way down to the bottom. There we go. Now you can see how it just kind of hugs that. So get your, uh, get your gasket straight. There we go. It's kind of hard to see, but your gasket is right there. And then you just tighten up the screw. That screw will pinch down on the can and uh, and collapse this little gasket oops, right here. Now the one thing that you got to keep in mind is watch it. It's already pretty much collapsed. You don't want to over tighten it or you'll crush the can and then it'll leak out. So you just want to snug it up to where the gasket is flat. There you go. Gasket's done. Now we're ready. So the, the needle valve is backed all the way out. Now we should be able to uh, just tighten this thing down and spray it into something that we want, like this. So we're going to spray it right into the bottom of uh, this can and then we can use our little touch-up gun, a little cheapy here, to spray it on whatever we want. Now they probably don't make this anymore, who knows, this is old school stuff. But you have this bottle and it comes with a little aerosol thing. so. If you had, let's say, a custom color mixed in here and that can is dead, you can just put it in here and then this thing screws down and it becomes a spray paint can. So I really like these from back in the auto body days. I don't really do that stuff anymore other than for myself, but it's pretty cool just to let you know that there are options if you have custom colors uh, and you want another aerosol can and you don't have like, you know, one of these or something like that. So there are options that you can use or that are that's available to you. 
So now we'll just spray this thing out. You just screw the needle valve in. Let's see if I can, I don't know if you can see it or not. So screw the needle valve in. You'll feel it start to kind of get a little bit tight. There we go. We, you hear it? We've punctured the can. Now it won't come out until you back it out. So. There we go. We've got street hemi orange paint coming out. I didn't shake this can or anything, so I don't know how well it's mixed up. And this is ancient, it's probably from the 90s. But let's see if I can get you down in here. There we go, we got paint coming out. And that's pretty much it. The lower you can get the needle, the more paint you'll get out of it. Takes a minute. But essentially, that is all there is to it. The key though, oh you can shut it off too, just so you know. So if you that's all you needed for right now, that's it. So here's the key. This gasket, you notice it's not leaking. The gasket has to be just tight enough to seal, but don't crush the can because you'll start losing pressure in the can. If it's cranked way down, it'll crush the can and start spraying out all over the place. So let me finish draining out all this paint. This is basically it. All of this stuff is cleanable. You can just use acetone. You can just wash everything. You can take it apart. You can dunk it, you know, in the acetone. You can clean the gasket. You can clean all this stuff. Everything is reusable and, you know, you can maintain it. Not to mention, it's so cheap to buy new and make this that even if you broke it, there we go. Even if you broke it or forgot to clean it, you know, it's no big deal. There we go, look at that. Nothing is wrong with it. And look at all the paint. So if you wanted to, you can just put it in anything that you want to and spray this paint. Okay. So I just want to double check to make sure I got it all out. It's all out. You can just leave this valve open. Basically, all of the aerosol propellant comes out of it. You can see that it's starting to get squishy here. I don't know if the camera's even pointing at this or not. But yeah, you can see that a lot of the pressure is gone. Just let it go. And that's all there is to it. Alright, it's done. You know, it's all, all the aerosol is gone in it. And I always make that mistake. So, just back it all out. There we go, it's loose. This is loose. Take it off, and there you go. There's probably, you know, you got the bulge in the bottom. There's a little tiny bit of paint still in it, but that's the only hole that there is. Totally empty. So now, you've got your paint. You can do whatever you want. That's actually quite a lot of paint. It's it was this can was pretty close to full, so you know that much paint was probably in it. I don't know that much. It was a lot, and it's cold. You can see the frost on it from uh, the propellant. But now you're done. You can see how much I didn't clean this yet or anything, but really nothing leaked out. So that seal does a great job sealing against those cans where I put it yeah so it does a great job there's really you know nothing there so like I said rinse it with acetone just down in here and and you're good to go so there you go everybody a nice paint extractor for like 10 bucks really easy to make I hope it helps you out as much as it's helped me out in the past I've used this thing a ton it's really came in handy over the years I mean, I hate throwing away good paint cans, so 
Anyway, please like and subscribe. I really hate to ask, but it'll help the channel a ton. We'll be able to do cooler stuff, get into better projects and all that. It just really, really, really helps. Even the comments are huge. So please help me out. Let's grow the channel so we can do more fun stuff. And uh, yeah, Street Hemi Orange. Take it easy, everybody. Hope you have a great one. Thanks for watching Half-Ass Garage.